Hello everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. It's me, Saravanan Vajravel, and today we are going to learn how to convert the image format from BGR to RGB. The reason why I picked up this exercise for today in the image processing world, there are numerous packages available. For example, Scikit, that is called as SK image, which I used in my last video that how do we count the number of dots or stars in the night time using the SK image algorithm. And the other package what we have is called Pillow. How different the OpenCV from Pillow and Scikit image? OpenCV has lots of new features and advanced technique on the image processing. So OpenCV is very important in the image processing because if you are not able to achieve certain things with other packages, you will be relying on the OpenCV. The problem with OpenCV, it follows its own standard of image recognition. The image will be read in BGR format, whereas typically the remaining algorithms will read in RGB format. Since the image is read with BGR format, what happens if you want to display the image while you code in the Jupyter Notebook and you want to see the image output in the same screen? That is not possible because the OpenCV image show function will show the image in the pop-up window. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the matplot library package and using that matplot library, I'm going to show the image which I read from the OpenCV. The problem over here on the matplot is matplot will interpret the image in the RGB format. So that's the reason I have captured the images, the original image what is read using OpenCV, which has red, green, yellow colors. When I was trying to place that image using the matplot I am show function, then the image will be shown in a different color. But one common color you can notice is the green color. As you see, BGR and reverse of BGR that is called RGB, the G is remain same in the same place. That is why the green color is unchanged. And the red color is got converted to blue. And the yellow color is transitioned in between the red and blue and that's why it got converted to the light blue. The challenge what we have now is how do we convert the BGR to RGB and show it using the matplot library with the original image what we have captured in the OpenCV. That is the exercise we are going to look in this entire demo. Without much delay, let's quickly head over to my Jupyter Notebook and start writing the program from the scratch. I'm going to create a new Python 3 Notebook. So click on File, New Notebook, Python 3. Let's write the program. The hash mark is going to inform that it's a comment. It's not an executable code. So I'm going to make some comment on my program. What is that exercise we have picked up today? Convert the image from BGR to RGB. That is from OpenCV to Matplot library compatible okay as i said very clear i'm going to read the image using the open cv package and then i'm going to display the image using matplot library so what are the packages that i need for my exercise open cv and matplot library the open cv in python world is called as cv2 cv stand for compute vision and 2 is the version 2 of the compute vision package. So let's import the package OpenCV. How do we import the package? Import the package and package name that is called CV2. Inside CV2, I have the image read that is IM read function. 
in order to access the IM read, I have to go with CV2 dot IM read. If you don't want to prefix the CV2, in that case, what we need to do is we have to explicitly import the module IM read and you can name any alias for that. Let's do that. I'm going to uh, call the IM read module with the alias name IM read. So how do you call that module? You have to call using from class from the package. What is the package? CV2 import the module name. The module name is IM read and name it as alias IM read. So we imported the package CV2 and then the IM read module also we have imported. And then what we need is matplot library. Import. I don't want to import the entire matplot library. What I'm going to do, I will import the matplot library which I need for my plotting purpose. That is, I want to show the image in a plot axis. For that, we have a Python plot from the matplot library. Let's do the same way as line number three from matplot library. That's a package name. Import module name is Python plot. That is py plot as plt. That's a alias name. I'm going to call it the plot. Do we have the required modules in place now for our exercise? Yes, we have everything. Let's run this by holding shift plus enter key. If the modules are already installed, then you won't get any error message. If not, you need to make sure to install the OpenCV package and matplot library package using the pip install command. Okay. So in my case, it is installed. I'm not going to do anything and I will move on to read the image now. I will read the image using the IM read what I have in the line number three in the previous segment. So let's do that. Let's make a comment. Read the image in the original BGR format using OpenCV. How do we read the image? Once you read the image, you have to assign the image to the image variable. So I'm going to call the image variable as BGR underscore IMG equal to. I have already created the alias IM read from the CV2. So I'm going to do that IM read. And I'm going to read the image. My images are getting stored inside the Python data science images. But when you look at my Python source code, it is getting stored inside the image processing. So from the current directory image processing, I need to go one level back and then get inside the images and read the image color iPhone dots. This is the image I'm going to load. Let's do that exercise. I have already typed BGR image. That's a variable name to store the image and I'm going to read the image and the image path you have to provide in the single quotes. And from the current directory where my source code is running, that is Python data science. From there, I'm going to go one level back on the directory. After I go one level back, I have to get inside the folder called images and then read the image that image name is color iPhone dots dot jpg. We are good. If you're not sure about this image, whether it's uh, read properly or not, you can press shift and enter. If you're not encountering any error, that means your code is correct. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the image using the open CV package with IM show functionality. So what I do, I will do that by using the CV2 dot IM show 
within the parenthesis you have to provide the image that you want to show as i said using OpenCV, you can show the image with a new window I, you can't show the image in the same screen in the jupyter notebook so you need to provide the window name to show the image so i'm going to show original bg or open cv is the package name this is the window name and then you can pass the second parameter what is the image name bgr underscore img is that sufficient no the moment you put this command this will show the image and immediately it will disappear in order to show the image and freeze the screen until you press some key you need to provide cv2 dot wait key friends in python everything is case sensitive you can't keep wait key in lower case the key should be caps so provide cv2 dot wait key of zero what will happen it will wait for some key to press after you press the key it is going to come out of that window so when you come out of the window the window what you have shown that should be destroyed so let's destroy that cv2 dot destroy all windows all a should be caps and w should be caps all windows open parenthesis close parenthesis we are good let's run this code you can see that there is one new tab has come and this is your image what is the name i provided original bgr open cv that is the window name you can see that now the image is loaded we are good and if you want to exit from the image you just press any key or close this window i just press the key it has disappeared so now you know how to read the image using open cv and display the image and when you display the image you can see the actual colors so what i'm going to do I'm going to display the image using matplot library. I said the matplot library will interpret the image by default in RGB format. So without any conversion, whatever I read using OpenCV, I'm going to display as it is using matplot. Let's see how the image is going to appear. Let's make a comment. Show the image using matplot library before the conversion so what is our alias for the matplot library it's plt i'm going to show plt dot im show the one advantage with python is for image show the command remains same irrespective of whatever packages you use whether it is cv2 package or matplot library or sk image or uh, pillow everywhere the im show function will remain same only thing it differs is the number of parameter what you pass against the package specific im show will differ so when you use this im show as part of open cv you have passed two parameters in this case the one parameter is mandatory that is image and the remaining parameters are optional okay i'm going to pass the image as it is what i read from the open cv which is in the bgr format i'm going to pass that image what is the name of the image bgr underscore img that's the one we have read using the open cv and this is returning in the bgr format returns in bgr format okay now with the matplot library this expects in rgb format since i have not converted to the rgb the bgr whatever values you have it will just simply treat in place of b r will be taken that means whatever the b value it have that value will be shown for the r and g remains same and b whatever you have r and that will be substituted on the b 
when you are trying to plot using the matplot library. So obviously the green color remains same after this conversion. So after you show using the matplot im show, just make plt dot show. Now this will be shown. Okay. Here you see the output. As I said, the green color remains same because the green is unchanged, whereas the blue and red are interchanged. So the red colors are shown in blue and the yellow color was transition between the red and blue and that's why it has gone to the light blue. So this is not the actual color of the image what we read using the BGR format. When you're trying to display without any conversion, the image is completely changed. So how do we get the original image using the matplot library? That is the exercise we are going to see in the next segment. So what we do over here, let's convert the image. Convert the BGR, convert BGR to RGB. That is the block we are going to do. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign a variable b comma g comma r equal to OpenCV supports a split command. The split command is going to separate the b g r values cv2 dot split of the image what we read that is b g r img. With this line, your BGR image is split into three different values B separate, G separate, R separate. Now I'm going to shuffle in the RGB format and that I'm going to store as RGB image. RGB image equal to. How do I uh, shuffle and then merge the value? Using the merge command CV2 dot merge -E, merge of now i'm going to pass the value which is in the array format the matrix array format so that you can define using the open square bracket and close square bracket okay open it and now i have the value three different value that is bgr i'm going to shuffle in the required format rgb so from the previous line this one I'm going to shuffle since I have an independent values. I can shuffle in the required format R comma G comma B. It's very simple. Now your RGB image is ready. All we need to do is display the image using matplot library. So nothing, nothing much to do. Just copy the line what you have done before conversion. Same line you copy it. Paste it here. All we need to do is BGR image that you need to change it to RGB image because we have changed the required combination BGR to RGB format and that we are going to display. Can you guys expect what should be the output? It will show the output exactly in a required format. Let's confirm by shift plus enter. Here you go. You got the required output exactly what we need. Red, green, yellow combination and nothing has been backfired. It has come in the required format. I hope you understood the code. The code seems very easy, right? Until I come back with another interesting video, it is Saranan Vajravel signing off from OneTouch BI. Have a good day.